Freeze dried vegetables is one thing that I love to have on hand in my food storage. There are plenty of times where I'm like going to cook dinner or something and I've got nothing green or healthy to add to our meal for our dinners. It's so nice to be able to just run down to my food storage, dig through my food storage bags and see what I got. And when I find a vegetable, I can just grab it. We reconstitute it with some hot water and I can cook it just as if it was fresh. If you have your own garden, freeze drying is the perfect way to preserve your amazing homegrown organic veggies. I can't wait to start gardening here in Alaska. We, I won't be able to until next summer because uh, winter is just around the corner here, unfortunately. So that's kind of a bummer, but we are getting our backyard all set up for me to be able to have a garden next year. And that I am super excited about and I can't wait to preserve all of my stuff with my freeze dryer. If you are someone who is interested in freeze drying yourself and getting one of these into your home, you can check the video description down below. I have an affiliate link with Harvest Drite. You can click there and shop for freeze dryers. They've got a brand new freeze dryer that just came out called the Harvest Drite Pro which is an updated version of the one that I have. You even um, get more trays fitting into the new freeze dryers than you do in mine. So that's super exciting. I want one of those new ones. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get one sometime soon, but that link is always in the description if you're ever interested in checking that out, if you wanna start freeze drying yourself. Let me take you guys upstairs and back in time a couple of days when I was getting these veggies prepped and ready to go. I will let you know what we are freeze drying for today's video. Hey there friends, I am here in my kitchen and ready to prep these veggies to go in the freeze dryer. I am going to blanch them first in boiling water for like three minutes or so, drain them off, get them all nice and dry, and then get them onto our tray. The veggies I am using, I just purchased at Costco. I wish these were my own homegrown, homegrown veggies, but they're not, that's okay. So I've got green beans and Brussels sprouts. We're going for green today. I'm just gonna get these opened up, get them rinsed in the sink, and then into my pot. I was able to fit one full bag in my pot, so this will just be done in a couple of batches, but I'm gonna let these simmer for three minutes and then I'm gonna rinse them under cold water again to stop the cooking process. I decided to toss them into an ice bath to really lock in the nutrients and the crispness of the blanching. And this is a good, nice, quick way to get them cooled down easily. I'm working on my second batch and then we will move on to the Brussels sprouts. I wanna show you our weather today. I've been bragging in my latest videos about the wonderful sunshine we've been having. We got a storm today. It is rainy, a little bit windy, and everything's just wet. <laughs> the kids are getting their first rainy day at school today, so we will have to see how that goes. If you didn't know, in Alaska, they go out to recess, rain, shine, snow. The only thing that stops them from recess is if it is colder than minus 10 degrees. It's up to the teacher's discretion if they wanna hold an indoor recess, but the rules are if it's above minus 10, they are allowed and usually do go out to recess. So kind of funny, whole new world up here compared to when we were in Arizona where sometimes you couldn't go to recess because it was too hot. Sorry, hello, I have the camera pointed down. Um, I wanna get my green beans nice and dry before I put them onto my tray. So I am just laying them out on a dish cloth and going to just like pat them dry as well as I can. I was able to fit one full bag on this tray. I've got it nice and compacted in there. So I think this amount is gonna be just fine. As you can see, it's a gloomy, rainy, kind of windy day today. 
months, we are not gonna have an Alaskan adventure in two days video. But I am coming outside in the wet weather to give you Brooke's trivia corner question. Today's rainfall inspired me to have today's question B. What is the average amount of rainfall that Anchorage gets annually and the average amount of snow Anchorage gets annually in inches? As always, I'll have the answer for you at the end of the video. Let me know your guesses down in the comments. I'm now gonna prepare the Brussels. I am going to get them washed. I am going to slice them in half, blanch them, and get them on my trays. When you blanch them, they just turn this beautiful bright green color and then putting them in the ice bath just locks in that color and all the nutrients in that. So it is worth the step of sticking them in the ice bath. Here are my beautiful vegetables. They look so good. So my Brussels sprout trays and my green bean trays. I only had a few leftover Brussels sprouts that didn't quite um, fit here. So definitely the two Costco bags were fine. The two Costco bags fit on these trays great. Also, let's get these loaded up. I feel like there's two types of people out there. You either love Brussels sprouts or you hate them. I'm someone who loves them. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. If I see them on a menu at a restaurant, I usually always order them because they're just so good. I love them. This is gonna be so nice to have my own that I can just rehydrate and roast and use anytime I want to. I'm here at the freeze dryer and gonna get it set up. We're just gonna go into customize. These are my same settings that I used on my last freeze drying run, which I am going to do. I keep my um, extra dry time at like seven hours, just so if it ends like in the night, it'll just keep drying and I'll be able to come to it when I am ready. I'm going to hit save and start. And we just made, wait the 15 minute cool down. Our freeze dryer is going. I will keep y'all updated on how long the whole process takes. When we get these out of the freeze dryer, I will show you how they turn out and we will do some rehydrating and some taste testing. Stay tuned for that. I will catch you guys tomorrow. My food is finally ready to come out of the freeze dryer. I feel like my freeze drying runs lately have been fairly long, but I also have not been good about like pre-freezing my food to help them go faster. I did look up on the Harvest Right website. It says average runs are 20 to 40 hours. So maybe I'm not too far off base here and it's just normal. I just feel like it's longer than it's taken in the past. I don't know. So last night it had been in for about 30 hours and was not anywhere near done. So I just increased my dry time so it would dry all the way overnight and now it is ready to come out. We're at the 43 hour mark. So these have been going for a long time, but they probably were done in the middle of the night. But as I said, I increased my extra dry time so that it'll just keep drying while we are asleep. And now I can get it out of my freeze dryer. These look awesome. I will just show you how dry they are. They just are brittle, crunch, and can break. That's how you know they are done. Brussels are the same way. You can hear it's just like crunchy. I am gonna show you two different ways that you can package up your freeze dried veggies. But first, I gotta taste one, right? I know my kids are not gonna be interested in doing a taste test of these veggies. I'm not gonna try taste the Brussels sprouts. I only like those if they are like roasted and cooked with flavorings and delicious. Green beans, I think might be good. So let's give it a go. Mm. That's actually super good. I love it. It's like a perfect little crunchy snack. 
I would love this for like on the go snacking. I don't know that kids are gonna love it. If you've got kids that are great veggie eaters, this would be so fun for kids. It reminds me sort of a veggie straws, but those are not made out of much veggies. This is a true real crunchy veggie straw. This also would be good dipped in ranch. For packaging these veggies, I got this um, pack of Mylar bags from Amazon that came with three different sizes. I love this huge one. I'm gonna see if my Brussels will all fit in this big one. I'm not sure if they will. I'm gonna do a set of green beans in the medium sized one. I'm also gonna do some green beans in a mason jar, just to show you the different ways that you can pack up your freeze dried goodies. I love using mason jars and sticking them in my pantry so that when I am ever just like looking for quick veggies, I just grab it out of my pantry, I can pop the lid and we got this. These I usually keep in my food storage um, in my basement, so it's just not quite as convenient. These you can see what you have and it's ready to go. All right, here's what I've got. I got my giant bag of Brussels here, two medium sized bags of green beans. I've got my green bean jar and I've got these left over that I am going to attempt to rehydrate and cook up. I'm super interested to see how these hold up when we rehydrate them. So we will head up stairs to my kitchen and do that next. I'll see you guys there. I wanted to show you the last step of um, securing your mason jars is to just vacuum seal it. I did throw an oxygen absorber in here that just helps them stay extra crisp and fresh. You don't have to do that, but it just helps extend the shelf life. So now it's nice and tightly secured. I'm just gonna screw it on and put this into my pantry for future use. I'm ready to work on rehydrating these. I am just setting them in a bowl of water and we will see how long it takes for them to reconstitute. Well, the weather has not cleared up at all, as you can see. But let's give you today's answer to Trivia Corner, shall we? The average rainfall is 16.08 inches in Anchorage, and the average annual snowfall is 71.2 inches. Last winter, we had crazy amounts of snow. I am hoping this winter will be more mild because we've had a pretty crappy summer. So I'm ready for a mild winter. Maybe the weather gods can just please us and reward us a little bit for having kind of a rough winter. No, a rough summer here in Alaska and a rough winter last year. We can hope, right? But as they say, Alaska does what it wants to do. But. We're blowing out here today. It's been about 10 minutes and I think these are ready to go. If you look at it, it is soft and agile and seems like it is rehydrated. So now I want to try cooking these up and see how they actually taste. Doesn't this look so good? I am super thrilled with how this turned out. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks delicious. I love sauteed green beans. Is it normal to have green beans for breakfast? Apparently that's what I'm doing today. Let's try it out. These are a win for sure. Tastes so good, super flavorful after you cook them like that and I'm super stoked. I would feed this to company, to guests, to family, whoever. I don't think they would notice the difference that these were previously freeze dried, which is so cool. It's so good. I am definitely gonna be eating some of these for breakfast now. Well, this was so good. Sorry we did not get an Alaskan adventure in today's video. Hopefully the next one. We need the weather to clear up, but we will see. Thanks for being here. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You can see all of the fun things that I freeze dry. Once I reach 2000 subscribers, I am going to do a subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Our family is back in school mode over here. My kinder baby 
is loving kindergarten. He gets to ride the bus to school with his brother and sister and loves it. The bus is his favorite part of the day. I think that's just super adorable. If your kids are back in school, I hope they are doing great. Bless the teachers. Teachers are amazing. I'm just so grateful for them. They work so hard and are just the best. So if you're a teacher out there, you're the MVP. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I will catch you on the next freeze drying video. Bye.